Hey, everybody, it's Invicta. It's time for not a random run day. We're just going to be playing Eden today. Since we did have a keeper run on Wednesday, I figured, why not? We, we missed a, we missed out on Eden run on Wednesday, so let's go ahead and make up for it. So we are not going to be doing greed. I don't know why we're still in there. There we go. It's from yesterday's episode. But thank you all very much. We did have another video across 3,000 likes now. We're only four away from first rebirth reaction video. And as you can tell, I am feeling uh, a lot better than I was the last couple of days. I did finally go see the doctor. I'll talk about that in just a moment. But first, here's your artwork of the day. Amazing artwork of the day sent in by Dad is Bad as Reddit. Dad is Bad at Reddit, I should say. Tothered was Sinvicta artwork pencil and ink. Absolutely astounding how clean this is. Unbelievable. Uh, Dad might be bad at Reddit, but is very good at artwork. I would love to have that on a print or something like that. I mean, like any any and all the fan art, if anyone does like physical medium out there, like please feel free to contact me because I would love to put it on a, like a collage in the office or something like that, make a big gallery. That would be awesome. Thank you very much. Dad is bad at Reddit and everyone who upvoted that amazing piece of artwork. Let's hop on in and get rocking and rolling. Here we go. Had a double shot episode yesterday, which is the reason why we were mostly able to get to 3000 likes. Uh, CJ is gonna be Charlie X-Ray 2 Whiskey X-Ray, please. Uh, we got the Book of Secrets and Ares, and we're going to start off by going to the Curse Room here as well. Good tiers rate, good movement speed, good good damage, good shot speed. Yeah, good good amount of HP as well. I mean, no, no complaints here. Um, but yeah, so I did go see a doctor, and she did give me... I actually saw her on, um, <clears throat> on Friday, and uh, she did give me some good antibiotics and stuff, and they're just now finally kicking in here, so... It's been it's been a journey, but you know I'm glad that uh, I did I did finally get some relief from the sinus infection. Um, pretty much the only thing I have now is just coughing, and that's about it. And I don't mean like coughing as in the Pokemon. I mean like you know coughing as in like like <laughs> you know that sort of thing, um, which does happen from time to time. But for the most part, it's uh, it's it's pretty pretty much hopefully over and done with. Um, just getting rid of like residual gunk and all that kind of all that kind of garbage. So, and again, thank you everyone uh, for just the patience and the understanding, you know, knowing that I've been, I've been ill for the last couple of days here. Uh, really, I mean, this past week has been just, just not fun. Um, get nothing in here. Fortunately, that's not the regular stopwatch, the broken stopwatch. I think we'd still stick with the, uh, with the um, Book of Secrets anyway, if we end up finding any sort of uh, active item in there. Now, we also have the... Uh, the modeling clay trinket, which is going to turn into random items just randomly. So we might be able... What am I doing? It's not there. Um, we might be able to get something good out of that, but the thing is, is that with modeling clay, one of the sort of unsung, like, amazing synergies you can get with it is with rock bottom, which, of course, we do not have, although we did ironically get it on Wednesday uh, with that tainted keeper run. Um... Because you do, as you saw in that in that other room, we did end up getting Pisces out of there, which does give us, of course, the tears up and knockback. Uh, but if we had something like Rock Bottom, it would be permanent. So that would be kind of neat to have. But other than that, the only reason why I mention that is just because, like, that's really one of the few and only good things about modeling clay is that you can keep those stat ups if you do end up getting Rock Bottom. But for the most part, it's not really what I would consider to be a. Um, it's not a. It's not a super desired trinket. Put it that way. Um, the twins might even be a little bit more desirable if we had any sort of followers or anything like that, which we don't. And ring around the fire right now with the uh, lime horn. Somehow we were able to keep that fire alive. All right, so we're going to start off with a nice tiers upgrade as well. So we'll take that. Now you might be wondering, hang on, Simvic, how come you left that soul heart down there in the curse room? Well, Cletus, because I don't want to actually damage anything before we go into the next floor. Um, I would love to be able to get the Soul Heart, as well as pick up Conehead, because that is going to give us another Soul Heart before we go there. And look at that. Perfect timing for a Tinted Rock and also the Super Seeker Room, perhaps, mayhaps. All right, so we're going to go get our Soul Heart. Unfortunately, it's too far away for us to use the iframes. Even with this movement speed, we're too far away to actually get through in and out of the door and also pick up the Soul Heart before it wears off. But we are going to have one and a half soul hearts to start off the next floor with here. Thanks to uh, Conehead. And you definitely could make an argument like maybe the best way to do that was to take Conehead first because maybe Conehead would have 
actually shielded us from going into the curse room. Uh, but the thing is that even if that happened, it would have to happen twice in order for us to hold the entire soul heart, which is unrealistic to expect. And we move on to last week's question of the episode, of course, which was the Jacob, Esau, and Esau episode, where it was a horrific uh, Jacob and Esau run that ended up only being pretty much salvageable thanks to Esau Jr. And if you didn't see that episode, you should, because I know that, like, Jacob and Esau is definitely a chore to watch, and many people definitely expressed their uh, displeasure with seeing a Jacob and Esau episode. But, hey, look, it's it's all random. Like, I can't I can't help it. You know, people people wanted to see the in-game random and not the not the random website anymore so you know you get you get you get what you pay for uh but last week i did ask what is your take on jacob and esau do you love him do you hate him what is the deal what's the deal with that also what's oh we have uh, my reflection i was like what the heck is shooting back at us um but yeah we had a lot of people of course weighing in on this because obviously they are a divisive character and uh, the most upvoted comment came in from james 1405 we said, definitely my least favorite character in the game. A general strategy is to give all the items to one of the characters besides HP. That seems to work pretty well for me. And yeah, you know, I think that you got to be careful with that, with making one of them too tanky, and then the other one is unable to... Um, the other one is, is unable to really <clears throat> perform at a, at a good level late game. Like, early on, like, it, you definitely have the... You've got the temptation there to make one of them super tanky. The other one is just like kind of whatever, like it's like the trash character. I believe the taking a balanced approach with both of them is probably the best way to go. Um, maybe not diluting like every single stab because obviously like you're going to want the DPS stuff on Esau, but you definitely don't want to ignore Jacob's uh, HP in this regard or vice versa. You know, you don't want to ignore the HP of Esau because, you know, he's pretty fragile. Um, no way to get into the, stop, into the shop yet, unfortunately. Keys and bombs are definitely kind of an issue on this run so far. So thank you for the up, most upvoted comment, Jameis. Uh, the second most upvoted comment came in from uh, Cow, Cow Call, Cow Call 15 uh, who said, I can't stand playing Jacob and Esau. I'd rather play the Lost Blindfolded. And yeah, I mean, I'm right there with you. Look, I don't like Jacob and Esau. I've, I've made that very clear, but... Yeah. You got to play him at least a couple of times to get all those unlocks, you know? So, yeah, it's one of those characters that it's like, it, it's kind of like the, uh, like with, with Isaac's heart. Also, yeah, we're done uh, modeling play. We're done. Um, It's kind of like with uh, Isaac's heart, you know, people are like, oh, Isaac's heart's great if you give it a chance, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yeah, I'm sure like if you get really good with playing with Isaac's heart, you can make it into a good item. But like, why use the time to do that? Like, why become an expert in Isaac's heart when you really don't see it all that much? The same thing is for Jacob and Esau, unless it's like they're just your favorite character, which in that case, in this in this sort of straw man example, like you're already probably going to be playing very at a very high level with them. So, yeah, I'd, I'd much rather play almost any other character. Almost. I would still rather play Jacob and Esau than Tainted Jacob. J Tainted Jacob by far is my least favorite character in the entire game by far. Um, but Jacob and Esau is definitely number, probably number two behind Tainted Jacob, maybe in front of Tainted Lazarus. It's, it's, it's tough, man. Tainted Lazarus at least is still pretty good. Um, or at least can be good with flip, but it's still annoying, like having the auto flip. Anyway, thank you very much to Cal Call 15 and last but not least, the third most upvoted comment came in from Luis Angel 7293. I'm going to go look for another, another bomber, kind of some kind of key here. He said, Jacob and Esau are very gimmicky and are painful to use. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I do love some of their unlocks like Rock Bottom and Birthright. Uh, I wish there was an option to use multiplayer as a character so I could make them into a make them a bit easier, more fun to use. I would also encourage you to play multiplayer in Isaac. But at the end of the day, that's repentance, baby. Thank you very much, Luis. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm down. I'm down for that. It, I think they would be a more interesting character in, in a two-player format. Hey, look at that. We were able to uh, get a proc there from Conehead, and now with IV bag, we're able to get into and out of curse rooms. Although we actually just got screwed there by Conehead because Conehead pre Conehead prevented the damage from us going from us using the IV bag. 
which then didn't trigger uh it did not trigger the iframes so we ended up taking a hit on our soul heart anyway so that's 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 quite the anti synergy there actually kind of kind of upset about that <coughs> Yeah, I mean, we're going to get differing answers for the most part anyway on a lot of stuff. But one thing is for sure, a lot of people do not like uh, Jacob and Esau, and I don't either. Um, going to be at least a lot of money here. We could play that claw machine, um, but maybe completion. So I know that there was a it was a, an hourglass, but we could get something better for it. Lots of money here from the IV bag. I probably will continue with the IV bag instead of the Book of Secrets. Although I do like, I do love me some Book of Secrets, though. I do love me getting that mapping. Um, 45 cents gives us nine taps on the claw machine. Go do that real quick here. Sometimes you can get some good stuff out of the claw machines if you get lucky. Eternal D6 is good enough to use in this room, and that's about it. So I don't really want to lose the IV bag, but what was in our... Oh, it was Gemini, wasn't it? It sucks that we're going to lose the IV bag, but... Okay, you know what? It turned into Backstabber. I'm not going to complain about that. So we don't get into the shot, but we end up getting Concussive Shot, which is a slight damage upgrade... Sack of Pennies and Backstabber, of all things, from uh, the Eternal D Sizzle. And we can also maybe... No, we can't. Never mind. Um, yeah, that worked out surprisingly well. Can, all things considered, that was probably the best thing that could have happened. And Curse of the Blind. Womp, 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 womp. But at least we got... I mean, Backstabber, obviously, we've we've already proven that Backstabber can carry for us. And this is probably going to be a run that's of no exception. Um, you know, the faster that you can shoot, the more tiers that you can shoot, the better the proc rate for Backstabber. The more damage you can get done, the safer you are, yada, yada, yada. Um... And I think that Backstabber really proves that, you know, you can have a, you can have an item that is widely useless and considered to be not great and uh, improve it in a very meaningful and fun way. And so, you know, it gives me hope that if we do ever get another balancing patch for Isaac, which at this point I don't know because they originally stated that there wasn't going to be any more patches and then now all of a sudden we have this online multiplayer thing happening. So, who freaking knows, man? But, either way, um, if we do end up getting a balancing patch, that would be pretty amazing if we can get, like, a once-over on some of the crappier items in the game. Which is, I mean, like I said, you always want to take, at this point, anything that Ed or Tyrone or, you know, or anyone else who's, who works on the game says with a crate of salt. Because, uh... Yeah, they, I, I distinctly remember them saying we weren't going to get any more Isaac patches, and we're going to get some. Immediately go into a planetarium here, and we get Mercurius, which is going to also help out with Ares, and I'm just not even going to worry about touching that. Wow. That was another proc from... Uh, that was another proc from Conehead. I don't think I've ever seen a Conehead proc this much. Especially with 0 .05 luck. That's a very weird luck rating. I guess technically we don't have to be in here, but... The Curious is going to allow us to run through doors that we don't want to be in. Tiki Room is most likely south of here, but I'm not 100% convinced. And I'm still not, because it's probably there, actually. 
So hearing all the backstabber procs come out, and again, they do so much damage, especially against highly mobile targets like Grubs and like Gertie Jr. Breed also likes to move around a lot, as you're seeing here. Yo, Conehead, why can't you proc on like the times where like I'm not dodging correctly? Instead of proccing when we use an IV bag. These all constitute rooms I just do not feel like being in, and that is the beauty of me curious. Me curious? Mercurius. I mean, we're there's just there's just no reason for us to be in any of those rooms. <laughs> now, yes, I do realize that we could be missing out on some room clear stuff and you know some rewards, but like look, we've already been in the shop. We don't need money on this floor because we've already been in the shop and we don't need keys or bombs. So yeah, there's there's very little reason for us to do all those rooms when they're simply like, we can simply walk past them safely, you know? And this is also helping us catch up on boss rush too because we were way behind after that really long second floor. Backstabber sound is just so satisfying, too. I don't know why it's not proccing all of a sudden, but... Who knows, baby? And we get a range up. Really not what I wanted. I'm going to wait on picking that up because we might get a range up in here. Uh, we get sensor, which... We all know how I feel about sensor. I'm going to go for broke here and see if we can get a nice reroll on the uh, on the angel key. Really kind of screwed yourself in here, Gabriel. This is not a not a big bulky room friendly room here. Okay. Well, let's stop taking damage from this fight now yeah, about that. Also, I have no idea how this angel fetus is still alive and shooting through fires. We hit it twice with backstabber and it moved and teleported. It was still alive. I'd, it's, I'd rather take the chance and lose both of these to get a reroll. It's just... Again, some people are going to be like, oh, wait, so Victor, you could have done this. Yeah, well, again, I'm trying to tell you that, like, it's worth, in my mind, it's worth the risk of losing both of those crap angel deal items for the chance to get a full re a full reroll on that room to get something better. It's In my mind, it's worth it to sacrifice the angel deal, possibly, and hope that we get lucky and it stays open. It didn't happen this time, but you know what? If it did, I would have been... I would have looked real good. I would look real clean. Also, I don't know why I decided to stop and fight this room. Probably a lot shorter rooms that we could have cleared. Trying to get a full charge on the Eternal D Sizzle. <laughs> penny looked like it came out of the... Uh, oh, okay. There's a mini boss room in there. The Penny looked like it came out of Rune Bag. So a little confused as to why Constellation Prize gave us a range upgrade of all things. If anything, it should have been a damage upgrade. A bomb here. Campy Belt is a damage upgrade, which we'll definitely take. We need it. My God. Triple pin. We saw one of the pins leap there and just get insta-gibbed by a uh, backstabber. 
<coughs> yep. Got some moolah. Hoping for a devil deal so we can get some damage here. And you see that percentage damage get chunked away there by Loki teleporting. Uh, we got another angel deal and no bomb to blow up the statue. Never mind, just kidding. Now, this is one time where Tribadian might not be terrible because of Backstabber. Does that mean I'm going to take it? Probably not. <laughs> like, I know I said I'm on the mend here game, but, like, I don't really feel like trying to make all these, like, insane dodges. I'm going to take Trisagian because of Backstabber, and I will take Eden Soul. It was infinitely better than uh, than the Eternal D6. Okay, we got to hurry to make Boss Rush here. And Curse the Blind. Never mind, just kidding. All right. Trisagian, this is your this is your chance to shine now. I took you not because of your strength, but because of the strength of backstabber and piercing shots. So, like, you know. If you do something good on this run, it is mostly due to your piercing mechanic. Oh, that was gonna be at the guy's rune. So I'm no longer worried about going for boss rush because of Curse of Blind. Our second Curse of Blind of this run, by the way. It's always just super duper great. Yeah, I'm glad to be to be almost over everything. Feeling better. Sleeping better again. You know, it's it, it's been a rough week, man. It's really sucked. Those of you OGs of the Mosh Pit know that I used to suffer from uh wow. as the Trisagian damage effect right there. I used to suffer greatly from uh, science infections on a regular basis. Oh wow the the conehead the conehead uh, the conehead damage shield stopped that from happening. I thought I used that on art. Apparently not. We don't want to skip. We, as much as I would love to, we don't want to skip depths too. At least not to get like it, we can at least get a full charge or something for Eden Soul before going to the next floor. Brownie, champion Brownie in a boss trap room. Damage is just horrible. Of course, this reminds me of the time where YouTube comments. We're legitimately trying to argue in Trisagian's favor and uh, scolding me for saying that it is a damage down. And uh, their, their excuse for this, I kid you not, the YouTube comments literal logic for this was it's not a damage down, it just makes you deal less damage. And I wish I was trolling. I wish that I was doing a bit. I wish I could take credit for that, but literally... People were getting upset at me for railing uh, Trisagian, calling it a damage down, because it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not a damage down, it just makes you deal less damage. I kid you not. So I'm really sad that we got stuck in that corner there. That's when we take a little break from the, from the old YouTube comments. I really wish I was joking, but I am not. That is a verified comment on this was like many this is like a couple years ago now at this point. Eden Soul, which we could use to use to maybe maybe um re roll what we get from the Soul of Eden. Look at that almost back to three dollars on the uh the old donation machine there.
Random soul heart, we'll definitely take that. It's like saying like, well, it's not that we didn't win the football game. We just scored less points than the winning team. It's like, look, you do, you do all kinds of mental gymnastics that you want. Just don't include me in them, please. Just don't, don't make it my problem. <laughs> you can, you can justify your insane logic to whatever aspect of your life that you want, but let's not make it my problem. Okay. <laughs> Just please call it as it is. <laughs> uh, I'm not really feeling extra. Not, I'm not feeling extra good about this run. First, the unknown. All right. <laughs> So now is when we get to use Mercurius um, extensively here. Although I think the secret room is there. It is. And of course they not only give us a shot, a parting shot, <clears throat> but then give us a super greed fight, which hopefully maybe he drops an item. We can use the Soul of Eden for. He didn't. So at this point, I think it's probably in our best interest to use the Soul of Eden for an Angel deal or Devil deal. Soul of Eden's guaranteed to give us two items of one item pool, and that is dependent on which item room that we use it in. So we want to we have to be very careful at and selective of where we use the uh, Eden Soul active item. Got me there. Prysagian really only works with other, like, other tier effects. I mean, it's kind of working with Backstab, but it's not doing great. It's not doing as much as I thought it would. Let's put it this way. If I, if I could get, get rid of Trisagian for the sake of more damage, I definitely will. See, like, when it's, when it's proccing, the piercing shots plus Backstabber is actually quite quite decent even with Trisagion. It's a it's a devil deal there. Uh yeah, I think we'll just go on down to the next floor. But whenever we get those backstabber procs, like it's actually pretty huge. Um it's just when we're not getting them, that's that's when the problems start happening. We could go in that vault, but I mean what what's the best thing we can get out of a vault? You know, maybe Maybe that, that the one with a bunch of red chests in it and get some guppy items for sure. Maybe Wrath. Somehow we push the bomb back through Wrath. Instead of like him, you know, it colliding with him. The boom. We're just zooming through these levels here. Really showing you the benefit of Mercurius. I know that some people don't like to see me just fly through the levels like that, but again, if there's a strategical use, I'm going to use it. And it is a very, very strong item. If you have enough HP, of course. You know, yes, you are missing out on the room clear rewards, but at the great benefit of not having to deal with possibly taking damage against ridiculous rooms or annoying rooms. I think the Mercurius is a fantastic item. And it also gives us an excuse to do a double shot episode today because obviously this run's going pretty, pretty quickly. Oh, we got another angel deal, and it's going to be okay. It's going to be revelation. Uh, we do have to fight one more angel statue here because I'm going to use the soul of Eden. I'm going to take revelation, of course, just because. I mean, just because. There we go. I'm going to pop the soul of Eden, and it gives us that. Gonna, or the uh, not Soul of Eden, but the yeah Soul of Eden. 
Eden Soul. And now we're going to use the Soul of Eden. And we get Death Certificate. Uh, Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Well. Uh, that's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. So death certificate gives you one of any item in the game. It's a one-time use item that is extremely rare. Um, but if there's one item that you need to supercharge a run, then this is the one to use it for. Okay. So the question is, what do we use it on? Because, like, technically speaking, we don't really need to use... Like, I mean, even, like... Even, like, R key or something like that. I mean, we're not, like... We're not going to need an R key on this run. Like, we've got this one wrapped up. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> it's a weird predicament. I mean, we, we do need damage. So, like, Sacred Heart comes to mind. Um, you know, mapping would be fine as well. One of the few times where I don't think Death Certificate was really needed, but... I'm glad it showed up. Okay, and there you go. That's a, the entire Isaac circle right there. They might be asking yourself, well, what are you looking for then? Well, right now I'm kind of looking for a sack room. We find a sacrifice room that could give me a reason to try for an R key, but there's not, a one, there's not one on here, so go ahead and just ignore that. really, really need damage. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling Sacred Heart here. I mean, Rock Bottom would literally do nothing for us because there's nothing else that really modifies our tears rate. Nice damage there with Backstabber. Cano rune. All right, we got the mind. Uh, sure. Take okay, Play Doh cookie. I think we'll rip death certificate. And look for Sacred Hizzle. Rock Bottom, but we definitely don't need Rock Bottom. Hey, Genesis might be fun too, but then we're just, that's just a waste of time at this point. Oh, yeah. Let's see Eve's mascara there. Dead eye is not bad either with uh not gonna trick me game. The thing is if we take D Bizzle then that, that resets that counts as a as an item.
I mean, Godhead, uh, Godhead and Trisagion isn't bad either. Godhead and any piercing is not bad. Come on. We can't pass up a little sissy there. Yeah, we need damage, but come on. Come on. It's little sissy. You got to have little sissy. <coughs> got to have little sissy. What in the world is going on with... Our sagging decided to... Take a perpendicular route there. Sorry. Okay. Thank you, Gippy. Easy peasy first run here. So, and it's a Sunday, so we'll do a we'll do a quick double header. Real quick double header. We had back to back double headers here. Uh, give me Isaac. Give me an Isaac Greed run, just for funsies, you know. Just for funsies. It's Sunday. Come on now. We got football to watch. Way. Keggy. Um. Game doesn't know what it's going to give us because we're at total base stats right now. And it gave us range. Pretty much the only stat that we didn't want. So we did get a key, which is going to give us a little hushy, which we're going to turn into a little Steven, which I will take. All righty. Ooh, we got an early birthright for Isaac. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Papa, Papa will take a, an early birthright. The birthright for Isaac, regular Isaac, is just going to give him the rotating item pedestals and allow us to have basically two items per item pedestal, essentially. Which for greed is really nice because that gives you a whole lot of options on top of having the D sizzle, of course. Nice little, nice little double shot, double header Sunday for you all here. No one's saying we can't do it. We make up our own rules, you know. Well, Steven's actually not too bad for greed mode either because of the large amount of room shots have to travel around and travel through. Oh, there's another one down here. There we go. So absolutely, without any question, we want a uh, birthright now um, because the birthright's just going to make this run better. <coughs> And then we have to go get the soul hearts in the item in the uh, curse room. Um, essentially, because this is the only time we're going to be able to use them before the devil deal. My God, yeah, it would be great if the enemies could hurt themselves on the spikes. I already missed backstabber. Wow, that super mega schmoo, dude. All right. Pretty sure little Steven may have been uh, propelling Dingo a little bit there, but wow, that was ridiculous. Dingo slid like three times longer than he usually does. Sure thing, game. Whatever you say. We lust. Whoa, okay. And pin moving at like 4 billion miles an hour. What is going on in this run? I mean, we had all angel items in the Eden run, so give me some, give me some good devil deal items at least. Nine lives and uh, little horn. I am going to take a little horn here. I'm going to reroll that. And a half price blood clot's not terrible, but not great either. Um, 
We could go for broke and go for the crooked penny, but I think we all know how that goes. And yeah, okay. All right. Well, well, we got. Uh, knowing me, I probably would have bombed for both of these. But I am going to use both of my bombs. The reverse tower card, which we can't actually use right now, but maybe in the next floor. Like, I can't pretend that I didn't see that that was a reverse tower card, you know. Uh, I don't want any more range upgrades. I might re-roll that. Okay, we get blue cap here. I don't want the D100. I will take Rotten Tomato. Give me, give me the HP. The so Rotten Tomato is going to be pretty good for us in greed mode because things are going to aggravate towards anything that we paint, which includes Super Greed or Ultra Greed himself. And that takes the aggro off of us and effectively giving us a lot of crowd control. You big horn. That's the thing, too, is that things are forced to attack the painted targets. It's not like aggro, like with Sanguine Bond, or um, not Sanguine Bond, but uh, with uh, Scapegoat. Like, they don't just, like, switch on and off from us. Like, they actually legitimately have to go attack the red target, which is really nice. Definitely want that tears up from Blue Cap for show. Steven doing a good job helping us thin the herd here. Each Dizzle. Eh. So that gurgling is going to attack the other, other gurgling. They're just going to run into each other and just knock each other out, which is really nice. Anything that deals contact damage does a, a massive amount of damage to themselves. Now it doesn't work with Peep's with Peep's eyes, unfortunately. Like they don't damage Peep just because he's got he's been painted. Though that would be pretty neat. Try to paint Mega Maw here. The monster just leaps right on him. There we go. Come on, Monstro. And it worked. Right at the last second. There we go. Mega Maw doing our job for us. Maw the Vizoid. And I will take Horror Babylon. It's going to kill us, but that's okay. Uh. Uh. Alrighty. Uh, PhD, I mean, how often do we really get pills and greed? It's pretty much what that comes down to. I think I'm good on waiting. We do need to get some bombs though, so we can use this tower card. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on one more shop here, but we are playing we are playing roulette with Curse the Blind. So hopefully we don't get one. Uh, give me the box. Our shot speed is kind of doo doo, but I'd rather have uh, the chance to get like you know good stuff here. Do us five bombs with a remote detonator. Fine with that. We can re-roll that. Pool bag and shovel to. 
half price school bags pretty good especially with us having the d-sizzle and the blue map i mean it would tell us where the secret rooms are but give me luck foot just for the luck upgrade really Ooh. gotta take champion belt and then we get chaos as well now chaos is gonna be something spicy Uh, let's use the reverse tower card now. And we got one, we got two soul, we got two tinted rocks. It's about all we can really ask for. I don't think this one's going to hit, but I don't feel like walking around too lazy. <laughs> Golden chest. Okay. Okay. Yep. That's a that's a wave right there. Bro. These rocks have gotten in the way. didn't even see what hit us there. I think something spawned underneath us. The reverse death card. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a horrible wave. Really, really terrible wave. I don't want to take chaos yet because we haven't gotten to the devil deal yet. So the reason why I'm not taking chaos is because I don't want to remove our devil deal item. Get green bloat, not gonna be fun. Maybe it will be fun because he was he was aggro there with uh, rotten tomato. And yeah, those grubs did a number on bloat. Wow, green bloat just got whooped by grubs. Seeing here, Maw the Void doing some work. Ooh. I have a Lyle for sure. Then we could go back in and get the quarter. Which is definitely worth losing a life here. We're going to lose another life taking the quarter. And I wouldn't mind Spectral Tears either, but I don't feel like costing another two lives for it. So now we could take Chaos. Then use the D-Sizzle. Okay. A Pentagram. I mean, 7 cent Holy Mantle. 7 cent Second Guppy item. Uh, I will take Stigmata for the HP and damage up. And probably leave it there for now. Put down a Horror Babylon State here. All the steel is fantastic for us. Remember, we have Luckfoot, so Crank Car I'm just going to use right now. Tiny rock. Eh. Okay. So yeah, that ended up being one heck of a good floor for us. The speed up as well. Look at that. Okay. Okay. I'm starting to dig it. Uh, we do have enough bombs. There's a, there's a tinted rock here. And it's Abadabba Ding Dong or Small Rock. I don't even think I need to say which one we're taking there. That is going to give us Leviathan. Wow. 
Now we can go fly and go get that key. That's in over here. Bombs. And then open this golden chest. So, wow, that was a... That was one heck of a... Uh, heck of a string of events that just worked out in our favor. Now we're only one away from Guppy, and we have a very good shot at making it. Ooh, this will give us two boss items with Pandora's box. I got to go for the two box, the two boss items here. Remember, we have the D6 and Isaac's birthright. So, even though like Death Touch is great and all, and it would give us a damage up, and but it would also give us a tears down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, man. Um, yeah. So... We're gonna take, uh... We're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna get some stats. I think we're looking pretty solid here. Okay. We need to get a... We need to get a key. We don't have a key right now. So it's just a, you know a rock bottom just sitting in the in the shop there, no big deal. Right after I said like oh well we gotta worry about tears down well, we've already given up uh, death touch but anything else that we get with any associated stat downs is uh, no longer a problem. Oh, no, we lost our bone heart. Sorry, our holy mantle. Luckily we have another one. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I think uh, we take one of those, and yeah, the pack to be nice, too. We need to get some more money, though. We can get the pack, or we can get five keys for 15 cents. Uh, I think I'd rather have the pack, if I'm honest. And now's the time for backstabber. Holy moly. Did not get guppy. I am going to take the battery, though, just because, like, that gives us a double charge for uh, the D-Sizzle so we don't end up inadvertently wasting uh, charges. Oh, my gosh. And we get Twisted Pair as well. well unfortunately, we can't take Twisted Pair unless we find... Five cents somewhere. Now we're going to be three cents short, unfortunately. Team catcher. Adds ring. Ooh. Yeah, we'll take Science Infection, especially with Godhead. Look, I know I have a Science Infection game. What's Invicta? You already have one. Quartz does nothing for us. Ooh. Definitely want the mark here for movement speed. Uses freaking shadows there as well. Oh, okay. Okay. We're just, so we're, we're just playing spawn everything on Zinvicta, huh? I think it's safe to say Chaos uh, ended up proving to be quite the quite the pickup for us. We've done quite well.
I care how both of you are still alive. One of you should definitely be dead by now. Yeah, Krampus fight, if you want to even call that a fight. And we will absolutely take Lump of Coal. Oh my goodness. Get some Victor Robes here, which is a lot of damage and more HP. Yeah, I'm going to take uh, Lead Pencil. Yeah, I'm going to take some Pisces. Yeah, I'm going to take Guppy. That's how you know I'm getting better. I can start hitting those high notes. Just enough to get us a key here for uh, our item room. And, yep. Oh, my goodness. My word. This is just... This is, this is getting out of hand now. Now we're just, like, stomping the game. Oh, the wafer, too? Don't be so mean, game. Have a little respect for yourself. Take the wafer here. We get a restock machine, too. TM trainer, I tell you what. Oh, yeah. They don't really need the judgment card because, like, we've already got D6, but it's good to have, I suppose. Yeah, this is going to be an absolutely... <clears throat> wow, I even found the secret room for us. This is just going to be an absolute slaughtering. Yeah, I'm really hoping that we find kidney stone or soy milk just to put this one over the edge. Let's wait on rerolls till we're done with this. Okay. Yep. Those were those are bosses right there. Oh my gosh, is that a steam sail there I see. It sure is. Yep, he's hairball. Uh, I actually don't want either of those because we can just re-roll in the shop. So there's no reason for us to take any devil deals. Okie dokie. Yeah. I mean, Sack Altar would give us some money for our flies. E Bizzle, we really don't need. And I will take Virgo. Just for the shield. Yeah, why not? Okay. Great. Balls of Steel. Play less because we have Rock Bottom. Um, I guess black candle revelations don't really need that. Oh, <laughs> oh mercy. Well, suffice to say, I think we're going to win this run. Some call me kooky, call me crazy. Something tells me that we're going to be just fine. Tears. Getting a tears up as well as if we need it for our 32 tears. <clears throat> oh, man. Speed up. See, aren't you glad we did an extra episode, everybody? Extra double double shot episode here on a Sunday. You'd love to see it. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this extra long, extra special double header of the weekend, everybody. If you did, make sure you click that like button. Would love to get this video to 3,000 likes on a Sunday. <clears throat> traditionally speaking Sundays have been the worst performing on uh, on engagement and that sort of thing so let's buck the trend let's get this one over 3,000 likes the question of the episode today is going to be what would you rather see would you rather see an extra an extra victory lap or an extra greed run <clears throat> if given the opportunity to take a choice let me know in the comments down below I do appreciate it my voice is going out so I'm going to end it there thank you for watching have a great weekend everyone and as always I'll see you all 
next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this episode. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Caitlin Bennett, Hunter, and Carlos Ibanez. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.